Hello everyone welcome back to another episode of Harrison explained and today we have a case of chronic meningitis which is cryptococcal meningitis the first thing which comes to my mind when i think of cryptococcal meningitis are immunocompromised patients people with aids are prone to cryptococcal meningitis and it is something which comes up in the exams too As I already said cryptococcal meningitis is a type of chronic meningitis so let us first see the criteria for chronic meningitis a characteristic neurological syndrome for more than 4 weeks with an inflammatory response seen in the CSF is the criteria to classify a disease as chronic meningitis You may see a history of exposure to pigeon droppings which is again very characteristic and seen in exams too. The cardinal features of chronic meningitis include persistent headache, hydrocephalus, cranial neuropathies, radiculopathy and personality changes. We will now explore these signs and symptoms in depth. The meninges of the brain have pain fibers which are stimulated by inflammation giving rise to headache. If the CSF is blocked at the foramen or arachnoid villi level it will accumulate and we have hydrocephalus and increased intracranial pressure. Intracranial pressure will then also cause papilledema, visual loss and palsy of the sixth cranial nerve. Radiculopathy means nerve root injuries. A lot of motor and sensory nerves are present in the meninges and because of the inflammation of the meninges these nerves are affected. It presents as leg and back pain. Personality changes are seen as disorientation, drowsiness and memory loss. People who have AIDS or are immunocompromised may present without fever or headache which makes the diagnosis extra difficult. Now for the labs staining is done with india ink and blood and urine cultures are also done. If still inconclusive antigen detection is done in the CSF. If the fungal infection is disseminated a biopsy of the liver bone marrow and lymph node may be diagnostic some patients may present with unusual skin lesions doing a biopsy of these may also help in establishing a diagnosis a contrast mri scan of the meninges will also show enhancement in the areas of inflammation this is seen here in the cerebellum and this image shows the clumping of the nerve roots in the cauda equina which causes radiculopathy The treatment is again amphotericin B and that sums up cryptococcal meningitis. Hope you liked it.